What's up, Virgo? Welcome back to There's That Tarot. And if this is your first time joining me, then I'd like to welcome you to There's That Tarot. Virgo. Technical difficulties could be happening in the month of July. <clears throat> but I'm not going to get on that part yet. I'm doing something a little different for July. I pulled a monology card for you guys to kind of see what the theme of the month is. And you have, your commitment is being tested. We're going to read about it. There could be some challenges coming your way, but they are just the universe's way of testing you. The first quarter moon calls for you to face any hurdles with confidence. What do you actually think is possible? If you believe you can do it, then you probably can. If you spend your life affirming that something is too big for you to surmount, then it probably is. You see how that works. Do you believe that your dreams can come true or have you already secretly given up? Showing some commitment now will help you move towards the desired outcome. What do you believe is true for you? Believe in yourself. Right now. Your mantra for this month should be, I am committed to my dreams and moving towards them with confidence. Additional meanings for this card. The answer to your question is yes, but not yet. You're halfway to your goal. You still need to put in a bit more effort. Sometimes we just need to realize how much we want something. And you need to recommit yourself to something or someone. Hmm. No matter when you pull this card, you need to see that any dramas as a you need to see any dramas as a stepping stone to where you want to be. It can also be a time when you need to stay strong through a storm. In your meditation, Virgo, like I said, we had te technical difficulties. A song called Echoes started playing. I don't know. Echoes just gives me like an empty nest. And then Nightbird. So it could be, I don't know. I don't want to want to say a breakup or something about an empty house. Or like somebody really feeling the effects of something at night. Um, you or someone in your life could be withholding. This could be communication. This could be loving. This could be withholding. Okay. Then we have Stargazing. I don't know, somebody's stargazing at you or you're stargazing at someone, but there's, I don't know, I don't know why I'm feeling like a missed opportunity type of energy. Somebody you're dealing with or you could be like one of those people who burn incense, real like tarot vibes, real Erica Badu like, and then somebody could be from Utah. I don't know why Utah came up, but it could be significant in this reading. We're going to jump into it and see, you guys, see how you guys are feeling in the month. Of July. Cancer season. Let's see what's going on, Virgo. Almost shuffle. How is Virgo feeling in the month of July? What's going on with Virgo? Seven of Wands in the reverse. King of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Some of you need to know that flaws and all, you're amazing. Just putting that out there. Okay, Virgo. Flaws and all. Get into it. This is me. Hear me roar. Hear me roar. Whatever you need to say to yourself. What's the seven of wands in the reverse? Something. Let's see. Keep hearing path of least resistance or letting go of something or something coming to the light that allows you to either let your guard down or like stop fighting for something. What's this? Or it could be you letting your guard down and taking a leap of faith and communicating with someone or apologizing to someone. What's the page of Pentacles? Or starting to build something that you, you see is successful. What's this? It's the three of cups in the What? <laughs> Now, 
This is either someone letting their guard down or someone giving up on something. It could be, I'm letting my guard down because this person makes me really happy or I'm letting my guard down and I'm revealing something. Something comes to the light or either way, somebody takes a leap of faith. Somebody like, is like, okay, if it's something that comes to the light, sets someone else free. Someone may try to apologize or communicate again or get the other person's attention, but I'm seeing a failed attempt here. Of, of reconciliation. What is this in the reverse? It's like somebody was still waiting for someone from the past. Six of Wands. Something that comes to the light sets somebody else free. I feel like somebody was waiting on someone from their past. What's the magician in the reverse? Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. Oh. I just hear somebody was going back and forth. What's the four of cups? And once they ran out of all the options, they would go back to the other place, the other person. Seven of Cups. <laughs> back and forth. What's the comment? Virgo. Mm, not looking for a commitment right now. <laughs> Can't make up your mind about something. Yeah. Two of Pentacles in the reverse, two of Wands in the reverse, Knight of Wands. A very flighty, cold feet type of energy. Back and forth between two people is what this is looking like. Yeah. Whatever it is. Ooh. There could be a Leo involved in this. Or somebody could have Leo in their chart. Somebody wasn't able to make a choice. Let's Let's see. And it comes to the light, set somebody free. There could be an Aries involved in this situation. Look at how bright it just got in here. <laughs> Leo's um, reading had a lot to do with the light, too. And there was an Empress. There was an Aries or a Libra or a Taurus. I feel really drained. Doing both Virgo and Leo's reading. Show me the King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles is possibly. Ah, oh boy. Somebody wasn't communicating about a marriage. Like that. There was a king and a queen of pentacles here, which could definitely be a marriage or a committed couple, a mother and a father, or something like that, or a business partner, but there's there's a pair here. Here we have the hierophant. Where's the hierophant here? on your mind. I feel like you're make you're coming to a decision about someone. Two of Cups in reverse. I think you're coming to a decision to go ahead and move on. Who are you going back to though? Or choosing not to commit and, and getting over the who? But to who? Page of Wands and Swords. I 
Are you dropping a third party, Virgo? And going back to someone who makes you very happy? Someone that you've invested a lot into? But maybe you felt like it didn't go anywhere. Here's this empress again. Somebody feels like they were done wrong because of something that came to the light. It could be an Aries. This person could have ended things because of something that came to the light. This person is guarded against reconciliation. This is, I, I said something about a missed opportunity earlier. Page of Swords. This person questions coming back towards this situation. They're emotionally withdrawn because there was a lack of commitment the first time around. There were others involved, perhaps third parties, secrets, you know. Back and forth. Virgo. The hell? There's a lot. I'm going to do something a little different. <laughs> How does this person feel about Virgo? Just so we can be clear on what's what. And roles can always be reversed. I could be picking up on whoever's energy. If it's not your story, do not take it. Do not take it. How does this person feel about Virgo? Think, um, it's nine of cups. I think they want to work on this with you, Virgo. I think you make them happy. They want to communicate. They want to make peace with you. Mm. Uh, they might want to scream at you. What's the seven of swords? What's the seven of swords? I think this person is healing as well. They were angry. they were upset with you about something. It's the King of Swords. They stopped putting energy into this, but they don't really feel like it's over either. Some part. What did this person find out about you, Virgo? Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this person and yes. Did you go back to someone else? And it kind of like came out, moved in reverse. And when that came out, this person let go. This person like quickly got out of Dodge. Somebody lied about not being in a relationship. <laughs> This person is done. Possibly exploring options, two of wands. This person feels like you had them in a third party situation. You abandoned them. There was a massive loss of attraction because of something that came out about somebody doing them. <laughs> or having another them. And then Trying to start another relationship. <laughs> it's a lot. How do you feel about this person? Cherry card. Could be dealing with cancer. Uh, 
Okay. Sure. <laughs> I think you're moving on. I don't think you are trying to start this up again either. You're afraid to take this chance. You could have done with Aries. Are you holding a grudge? Oh, yeah. Are you still holding on to a failed relationship from the past? Seven of Swords. Still looking back. Wanting to resolve something. Kind of stuck. Looking back. At something that's over. Or something that ain't quite over. Who are you wanting to reconnect with, Virgo? Person, someone could be across. Oh, <laughs> some of y'all dealing with a, um, a Aries <laughs> or something, or this could be someone that you have children with. This person could be like at a distance, distance, like across the water. This is someone that you, like I said, you probably have children with that's at a distance. What's the Ten of Pentacles? But what's in your emotions is you're wanting to offer something to someone. third party that needs to be dropped here. There's a connection. <laughs> Somebody's trying to choose in between two people. But they've had a long, they've had a hard time letting something else go. There could possibly be addictions involved here as well. But somebody's trying to manifest this empress. It's the same like Leo's reading. But it was like a lack of being able to make a choice. But I feel like somebody's finally going to come around to it or something like that. I'm just going to pull advice. <laughs> I have no idea. Like it goes so deep, Virgo. Signs I'm seeing the most, like I said, uh, you Virgo, Cancer. I saw Capricorn, Aries a lot, and Leo a lot. What's the advice for Virgo in this situation? For the month of July. Sun. Go for what makes you happy. What's the sun card? I'm telling you. Something is coming out and I feel like it's going to help you to eliminate the conflict. Either they find out something about you or you find out something about them. I feel like it leads to the end of a relationship. How is this advice? <laughs> Somebody withdraws their emotions and communication. Because it's too much stress. Really just aiming to get unstuck from this. And then we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Who gambled. King of Pentacles could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, but somebody gambled. Somebody could not make up their mind. The Emperor. So the Emperor becomes a missed opportunity and goes and starts exploring other options. What's the Ace of Cups? 
somebody was too afraid to make the offer to to take the leap. It's, it's, it was just fear. Page of Wands. So I made peace with it. Somebody remained quiet. Somebody's no longer waiting. Three of Swords. This could be the advice. Make peace with it. Don't wait anymore. Let go of the past. Death card. There's going to be some resistance. The other person is going to be fighting. I don't know if it's you or them, but somebody's justice is not to move forward with this situation at all. So, any other messages for Virgo? Nightbird is playing again. Whoever ends up on the losing end of this is going to have... I, I feel like it's going to be like one of those sleepless night type of months. Because somebody just could not choose. Any of the messages for Virgo? Sometimes it ain't all about choosing. If you not, if you don't want to choose, just just be like get out of the race, though. You know. <laughs> Take these ne next messages however they resonate. Somebody was a douchebag, <laughs> and you need to run away from them. Whoever I'm talking to. The situation feels forced, or maybe it is being forced in some way. Somebody you were dealing with, whenever, I don't know if it was you or them, <clears throat> but whenever someone would ask what's on the other person's mind, they would say nothing, and that was just not true. <laughs> One of the people in this situation, you know, they were like, you know, love is what I have to give you. And that's not enough. I don't know what to what to tell you. Somebody in this situation needs to grow up. Somebody was involved seriously with someone else, like within another relationship. It's like somebody was already involved. And I feel like that's why it was a failure to launch. Like I feel like things never really got off the ground because somebody never really made a choice. Believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. There's a time to observe and there's a time to participate. Which one is this for you, Virgo? Which one is this for you? Because I don't know which side this is on, which side everything is on. But is this just like one of those lessons that we learn and we go ahead and we pass through it? Or is there something that can be done? to better the situation or to end it, like to, to ease the situation for everybody involved. That's what I get from that card. They only win for a little for a little while. You won't be punished for their evil, they will. If there's an area in your life where you're not excelling, it's an area where you're not taking yourself seriously enough. So what area is that for you, Virgo? Or the cross watcher. I'm not sure. Somebody else was clocking the other person's pockets too. That's another thing I don't like. And this was a, I don't know, like a rebound. It's really giving me rebound. All right. There's been a lot of uh, rebound energy. The song that's playing right now is called A New Life. I feel like that's what we all aim for right now, Virgo. I don't know. This reading is its not settling for me. I feel like somebody is just craving a new life. And maybe they jumped prematurely. Or they poured it on a little too thick too soon before they were actually ready to offer that to somebody or before they were actually ready for that themselves. I feel like somebody was... I don't know. It feels like a rebound though. What does the person on Virgo's mind want to say to Virgo? These messages could be either way. Take them, as, take them however, however they resonate. I tried to replace you, but that didn't work out well for me. I'm sorry I couldn't follow through with all of my promises. Somebody's mad at you. Somebody could probably even be mad at you. I wish I had told you how much you really mean to me. But I question whether or not, I don't know, I feel like this person was questioning whether or not they line up 
with where you want to be in life or whether you line up with where they want to be. Somebody knows that they crossed the line here. I wish you would put the same energy into fixing things as you did into like ruining them. Somebody just feels like this isn't going anywhere. It's unfertile. I know I made a huge mistake. I feel like I have to protect myself from you. I want to reach out, but I'm afraid you're all I've ever wanted. Like it. <laughs> I guess this will make sense to you guys. Oh, what does this word mean? Mooney. Somebody's kind of like blinded by their love for someone. You were wrong. It's not what you think. I miss the feeling of having you next to me. I want to tell you how I feel. I love you, but I hate the way you make me feel. I feel like there's been a lot of disappointments. In this relation, a lot of disappointment. So I'm just going to read these last messages, Virgo. Any other messages for Virgo? I feel like there's been a loss, a loss of optimism when it comes to love. There's been a la lack of attraction between you two. Like a loss of attraction as well. Somebody wasn't paying attention to the red flags in this relationship. energy. I feel like it was more of like a, a fling. Not a lot of open communication. Everything's in the reverse except honeymoon. Maybe it was just a fling. Free yourself. Okay. I think I get it. Whoever's still holding on to something from their past that Apparently, it's not what it should be, or it's just, it ain't making you happy, because if it was making you happy, then you wouldn't have got involved with whoever this emperor, empress, or whoever this other person was that showed up in this reading. Somebody didn't pay attention to the red flags. Somebody wasn't feeling very optimistic about their love life because they hadn't made room for something good in their love, in their love life. And it doesn't matter whether... Um, you know, people can physically see you with another person. If People can feel other people's energy on you. So I feel like that is what blocked a genuine, transparent connection from happening between you and whoever it is that's on your mind, Virgo. Or vice versa, whatever. <clears throat> so then we have free yourself so that you can give that relationship a chance. And the song that's playing right now is called You Know. It's time to take control back over your own life. I feel like somebody's in a relationship and it's not out of love. But then there's someone else that they do love. And maybe it started off as a rebound, but then feelings got involved. I don't know, Virgo. You know. But I'm going to leave it there. Um, please like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. If you would like a personal reading, the information for that is in the description box. So, I will see y'all in the next reading. Ciao.